children develop more rapidly during the first three years than any other time during development. To support this rapid development, infants and toddlers deserve respectful and nurturing relationships with their caregivers because optimal learning happens within positive relationships. This section will introduce the practice of continuity of care, describe how it is implemented into group care programs, and summarize its benefits. Continuity of care as a caregiving practice. Continuity of care refers to the practice of primary caregivers and children staying together for as long as possible, preferably for the children's first three years. Classrooms, materials, and supplies may all change as the children become older, but the one constant is the relationships. Thus, continuity of care is a caregiving practice with relationships at the center, with the goal of creating and deepening relationships between caregivers and children and caregivers and families. Continuity of care contrasts the common practice of moving infants and toddlers to new classrooms based on their age and or attainment of skills. There are three ways that programs can create continuity of care systems. Programs may choose a system based on space, materials and resources, staff expertise, and parent and community needs. Group mixed aged infants and toddlers together by having the same primary caregivers work with classes of mixed aged infants and toddlers. The environment should include equipment and materials based on children's ages, interests, needs and skills. The age range depends on the current children. As children move up into preschool, newly enrolled infants or toddlers are added. The same teachers remain in the classroom. The figure on the screen shows an illustration depicting this continuity of care system. In classroom A, a primary caregiver has a mixed age group of both infants and toddlers. When the children are old enough to attend preschool, they then move to a new preschool class, classroom B and new infants and toddlers are enrolled into classroom A. Keep children of similar age together with the same teacher. As children grow older, the children and caregivers all move to a more age-appropriate space. In this arrangement, teachers work with different age groups over several years. The figure on the screen shows an illustration of this continuity of care system. In classroom A, the teacher is with a group of infants. As the infants grow, the teacher and children move to a new, more age-appropriate room. Classroom B shows the same teacher and children as in classroom A, but now the children are older and they are all in a new classroom together. Another continuity of care system involves children of similar age remaining with the same primary caregiver in the same room. As the children grow older, they stay in the same room with their caregivers, but the caregivers adjust the environment and materials as children's abilities and interests change. The figure on the screen provides an illustration. In classroom A, the caregivers and infants are in an age-appropriate room. As the children grow, rather than change rooms, the classroom is adjusted to be age-appropriate for their developed abilities and interests. In this way, the children and caregiver can remain together and stay in the same classroom over time. Continuity of care benefits. Continuity of care is rooted in attachment theory research that supports the importance of consistent and secure relationships between caregivers and children, especially infants and toddlers. A classic study by Helen Rakes, 1993, is strong evidence for the benefits of continuity of care. Rakes found that the longer infants remain with the same primary caregiver, the more likely the children were to develop a secure attachment. Specifically, of the infants who stayed with the same caregiver for over one year, 91% of them had a secure attachment. Compared to infants who stayed with the same caregiver for 9 to 12 months, 67% had a secure attachment, and 5 to 8 months, 50% had a secure attachment. Toddlers in continuity of care classrooms are rated by their caregivers as having fewer challenging behaviors. Having a consistent and stable caregiver supports the development of a strong attachment between children and their primary caregivers. Infants and toddlers with more caregiver stability scored higher on social skills later in kindergarten. Indeed, both parents and caregivers report that one of the main benefits of continuity of care is the increase in knowledge caregivers receive of 
individual children by working with them for a longer period of time. Continuity of care not only benefits the relationship between caregivers and children, but also the relationship between caregivers and the children's families. More time together means caregivers and families can potentially develop a deeper understanding of each other with a trusting relationship enriched through experiences over time. Indeed, parents report how continuity of care creates a caregiver-parent relationship of trust and open communication. Both caregivers and parents reported that their experience with continuity of care created a mutual respect for each other and they both perceived their relationship more as a partnership. Not only are there research-supported benefits for implementing continuity of care, there are also research-supported concerns for not implementing it. When infants and toddlers are transitioned into a new classroom, they exhibit increased distress and anxiety. Other research emphasizes that transitioning from an infant to a toddler class may be experienced differently for each child and is greatly influenced by caregivers. Despite many organizations promoting the importance of continuity of care, few infant and toddler group care programs actually implement it as a practice. Research has revealed that programs accredited by NAEYC, National Association for the Education of Young Children, were just as unlikely to be practicing continuity of care as group programs without an NAEYC accreditation. In a large national study with early Head Start infant and toddler programs, only 29% of children experienced two years of continuity of care. 34% of children experienced changing primary caregivers at least once, while 37% of children experienced changing primary caregivers between two to six times. Caregivers express both benefits and challenges associated with implementing continuity of care. Most of the challenges caregivers express about continuity of care can be reduced and or solved when accurate information is shared and with strategic planning. Conclusion, continuity of care is a caregiving practice that has the potential to greatly benefit children, their families, and caregivers. By keeping children and caregivers together for as long as possible, ideally through the first three years, respectful, trusting, and secure relationships can be deeply formed. Although few group care programs implement continuity of care, by sharing accurate, research-based information and through strategic planning, more programs can strive toward this important caregiving practice.